What's going on? It's your name, Charlie. I'm bringing you some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We're heading over to Reverend Swanson. Talk to him. Who he wants to see? Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. No. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins. Oh, the loader is over. <laughs> <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? No. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Do I yes, look okay? Very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Charles. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Damn. Yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding arms. Don't to let the this bastards walk all over you. No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young Dutch man, is gone fucking berserk. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. 
All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Saving, feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall so he's using the Indians as bait. Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. All he keeps saying is trust, 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 but it doesn't give me a reason to be trust. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right, we can set out. The only I paddle? There's three of us, but I'm the one paddling. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. I don't think it's gonna work like that, but all right. Good luck. I need to smoke. What 
the hell? Chip, we got a problem here. I found a body. We have attackers on board. Get back, what's ours? Had the sick guy do with anchor, of course. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up and hurry. Come on, Arthur. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said well. I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur.
already here. Might as well do help out Micah. Rain Falls is way the fuck up there. <laughs> yep. I'm not gonna lie, I've wanted to see Rain uh Fort Wallace yep. for a while. Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> 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 Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> God, I hate Micah. All right, let's go. Let's go, girl. Have fun, boys. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay, let's hold up here. Wait, they want us to rob a stagecoach in the middle so, of a fucking town. Wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. We'll take the two. To stop it completely or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and... You, you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Right. 
<laughs> Dang. I headshot them all. I don't really think about uh, the horse running him over.
Oh shit! I pulled the trigger and it blew up. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, a lot Arthur. Of reasons. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Let me go by a store. I did headshot five soldiers. Hey. You're going to wait 
fuck down there. Or where the fuck up? I got down. I guess we'll stop by here. I'm gonna jump up there. Yeah, we'll go by here. That's trap. Wait. Whoa. Yeah, the camp. Who is that? Me, Earth. You can tell me later. Careful with that horse, Arthur. Yeah. Someone's talking to somebody. Can't Wrong talk man. about this now. Okay? Well, fine man. There's something not right with you. Are you talking to me, old man? Mind your man. I've minded them long enough. Mm. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. <laughs> Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> oh, my God, these guys are crazy. Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. I hope I have more fucking. Did I? Now is as good a time as any. Go for it. Yes! Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. 
emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brain. Excellent. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, you, you are <laughs> right. Right, right. Nope, my sweet. Oh, brother. That was funny. Been a while oh, since you came through town, ain't it? Got yeah. everything you need. Have a look. Now, let me just look in here. Don't come to Valentine that often. But I need more uh -huh. stuff. Appreciate it. That's done. Another one for you. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Okay, then. As well by anyway. nice. you look around some more. Thanks, partner. Okay, need to close it. Let's go. What can I do for you? Yeah, close. I just got here. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Smart addition. Just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that though. Damn. For like a dark look. Have 
you would give me a minute, please. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. What can I do for you? Let's get Be seeing you. A little bit of ways of riding. Damn, we're supposed to post it all right. Oh, damn it. We're already here. I'll just help out John first. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <sighs> I 
killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Okay, good. Grab the other one. You're too far back. Left a bit, Arthur. Last time, come on. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Do you like the last one first? Okay, I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure, go on, I can handle the rest. I see you up there. It's better work. Quick as you can, Arthur. I sure hope this is enough to blow. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Get up 
here quick! Come on! Shit! Arthur! The train! Come on, quick! Fuck! <laughs> well then. They tried to, oh my god, ran off the edge. as fast as I can go. Okay. Holy shit, it wants, it wants you to go so fast, but like... I don't know what you want from me. I'm trying. Dead. <laughs> I'm hitting X every time it like it wants me to. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Oh, sure. Yeah. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, that's just how don't. When the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. 
And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish I things were different. Right. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah. Alrighty then, bring out this episode right there. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, as always, be sure to smash the like button. Uh, if you want to, you know, hit that um, bell notification button. It lets you know when I upload a video, um, which is daily. So yeah, peace out.